Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Facebook's Audience Insights tool with Facebook's Ads Targeting tools so your ads will get more views, more clicks, and you'll make more money. Hey guys, my name is Trevor and thank you for checking out my channel. If it's the first time you've ever been here, make sure to click on the subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I put out new videos. I love cars. I love selling cars. I love the money that you can make selling cars. And this channel is all about helping you make more money, sell more cars. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you how I handle my Facebook's ad targeting so I'm able to get clicks and sales and good leads using Facebook. And I use this stuff every single day and I'm gonna show you the best tricks and tips that I know. Okay guys, here we are in my ads manager and as you can see here, I run ads pretty much constantly. So. I do this a lot, so hopefully I can help you here. So what you do, if you're going to find the perfect targeting, you use the Audience Insight tool, and you go to your Ads Manager, you click on All Tools, then you go up here to Audience Insights, and this tool here is going to give us the ability to connect to a perfect audience for our ads so we can get our ads done as cheap as possible. So you have two choices here. You can either use a page. So if you had a page where, you know, you had 10 or 20,000 um, likes or people on your page, you could use this. But I use everyone on Facebook. So this is where you start. So I click everybody on Facebook. And since I advertise in the local area, I do local, I don't do nationwide you know, all kinds of, you know, ads for oh, lead gen for all over the country. I do it just for my specific location. So the first thing I do is type in my city. And in my case, it's Missoula, Montana. And I choose that city. Now, Missoula, Montana is really a small place. So there's not a ton of of people for my audience. But since I'm selling cars, I don't have to sell thousands of them. I just have to sell a few of them. But if you were gonna use this targeting to sell something where you needed to sell a lot of them, you're probably gonna wanna have a bigger audience and you know stretch things out a little bit farther. But for me, 60 to 70,000 people to start with, that's perfect, that's fine. Okay, so now what this part of the graph is telling us is out of those 60 to 70,000 people in my city that are on Facebook, 56% of them are women, 44 are men. And here are the age demographics. Okay. Now, since I've taken the time, I know kind of what my audience is. I don't know that 18 to 24 isn't my audience really. That's too young for buying cars. So, I stay away from this, and this is kind of the sweet spot. So 25 to 54. So I get my notebook down, I write down these numbers here, and I start right there. But now this is really broad, and it's not gonna really get me what I want. And the ads, if I just targeted Missoula, Montana, 25 to 54, everybody in the world is going to be marketing to these people. So my ads are gonna be really, really expensive. Okay, so how do we narrow this down and get our ads to be cheaper? Well, I leave my age alone for a minute and I start going down here to the interest tab, okay? And when you click into this interest tab, it'll give you a drop down of a bunch of different things you could choose from. So you can sort these out. You can click on them, say business and industry, and go down and start clicking on these and trying out different audiences. But for me, 
what I'm going to do is, we're in Montana. We sell a lot of trucks and SUVs here, okay? If you were in LA and you sold a lot of cars, then you could, you know, type in cars or a specific model. Say you're a Ford dealer and you were selling, oh heck, I don't even know, new fusions, for example. You could put that in as an example of what you're looking for. And Ford Fusion would come up. And in my demographics, because my audience is so small, putting Ford Fusion in, I have no results. So that is way too narrow for me because I only have 60,000 people to work with to begin with. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in trucks. Now, if you look here, now, a minute ago, I was more women than men. But in Montana, since men drive trucks more than women, obviously, I have 56% men, 44% women. So now, does that mean that I want to run an ad just for men or just for women? No, because I'm, I haven't figured it out quite yet. So now I'm going to look at the relationship statuses to see what, what these people that like trucks, kind of what they're all about, okay? This is 27% of them are single, 50% are married. Here's my education level, 1% so of, of this is college, so 62%. So I've got a lot of college in my city, a lot of college-educated men that like trucks, okay? Now, if I want to narrow this down even more and get more ideas of what audience to use, I can click on the page likes, and this is going to tell me in my city the people out of this 15,000 people in this truck audience. These are the pages that they like. They're the grocery stores, okay? Missoula Fresh Market, for example, Lucky's Market, Missoula Liquidators, whatever. Okay, now I write down some of these top two or three places that my customers like to go to because when we actually do our ad, we can target this location and we can say people that have recently been in Missoula Fresh Market because I know that that is the number one place that people like that are driving trucks in Missoula, Montana. So that's an audience that I might like, or I could try a different audience. So I write these down and keep track of them. Then down here, this is the relevant score. This shows which ones are the most relevant to my search, how big the audience is, how many people there are. And targeting somebody of less than 900 people or 800 people, it doesn't really work that well. You could try it, but I don't. So I would usually pick a couple of these to get my audience a little bit bigger. Okay. And you can go here to activity and this will show you if they're mostly on mobile, if they're mostly on uh, desktop, whatever it is. Nowadays, everybody's on mobile. So what I'm going to do is when I write my ad and I build my creatives, I keep mobile in mind. I want it to look best that I can on the mobile device, okay? So now that we've went here and we've explored this a little bit, we're going to decide to go, okay, maybe this fifteen to 20,000 is still a little bit too broad. I'm going to narrow it down a little bit. So maybe on my lot, I sell trucks and SUVs a lot, which I do. So I'm going to put in SUVs. Okay, now when I put in SUV, since I broadened the scope, my audience went up a little bit, which gives me a few more people to advertise to. My audience got more balanced out, so I've got just about the same amount as, as women. And now I know kind of what I've got going on here. If I target my ad and I use SUVs and trucks in my targeting, this is about the demographics that I'm going to get. I'm going to 
most of my audience is going to be between 25 and 54. If I add this up, this is 50, 60, almost 70% of the audience is going to be in there. So that's the target that I want. So I write this down. I say, okay, I want to be 25 to uh, 54 with the interest of SUVs and trucks. Now, say I had a lot of, it was really heavy in trucks, and I want to weed this down a little bit better to see what I, what kind of interest it is. Well, here in Montana, one of the most favorite places for men to go that have trucks that are in that age group is Cabela's. So now I'm going to click this down and hit Cabela's Sporting Goods Store. So now I've got an audience. It hasn't changed my audience a lot because around in, in this part of the area, everybody likes Cabela's. But my min is going up. So if I was going to write this ad and I was going to sell a lot of trucks, what I would do is I would get rid of the SUVs because I know that brings the women up. And now I'm going to write it at 56% are men, 44% are women. So you could run an ad and target, say, one creative uh, to trucks and run it for men and then duplicate that ad and change your creative to a different type of photo and run that to women and then test to see which one of those two audiences is going to be the best. So... You might find that that you're doing better with a certain picture, a certain ad to men than for women. But this gives you the idea. So I never just choose men and women because it's too hard for me to figure out what's working the best. So I'll run the ad for men. I'll duplicate that ad, have the, exactly the same ad a lot of times, the same creative, the same everything. and. I'll run that to women and then I will watch to see what happens when the leads start coming in. So say if I'm only going to go to men and I click on it, here's the demographics. This is the thing that changed. 30% of them are single men. So if I know that I'm running an ad for single men and I'm wanting to sell trucks, I'm probably not going to put, um, real generic um, type of vehicle in that ad. I want to go with something that's kind of flashy because a big portion of my audience is single. And I'm probably going to know this. And another big part of them, they're, they're married. So maybe I'm going to want to have a four-door truck or something like that because maybe they have kids or whatever. And I can keep whittling that down because I can put interest, I can say family. and see the numbers are starting to change. Then down here in the job title, now that I've got this, I'm getting pretty narrow here now, right? So I've got people in Missoula, Montana. I'm gonna go between 25 and 54 that are interested in Cabela's, family, trucks. And now I can look, if I want to narrow down even farther, this will tell me the job titles that these people have. And the biggest portion of them, they're in the food and restaurant industry. We have a lot of that here in this town. It's going to be different for wherever you are. But you could put that in as another interest and keep whittling this number right here down until you get the size audience you want. But I'm at fifteen to 20,000 people right now with men. So this audience is probably going to be perfect for me. Now I'm going to clear some of these out. and show you a couple of other things. Now, you can show these connections, and this is pages, so you can try to target people that are connected to your page, if you had a good size page. If you had, um, I don't know, five, 10, 20,000 people, you could make sure that your ad, with all the rest of the targeting, includes your page. I have a lot of pages that I manage, but, um, Here's our store. I have a couple, and I can start choosing these 
and whittling that audience down even tighter. But I find that if I can keep my audience around 10,000 or so to 15,000, I run weekly ads, and that gives me the ability to really laser focus in on, oh, okay, right now, uh, trucks are working really good with men. They're not working good with women. Spend more money on that ad. Or, gosh, men aren't buying trucks right now. That ad's not working at all. Maybe we need to have SUVs and go to women. I keep changing it up because, as you know, in this market, it changes constantly. Okay? So that's the basics of the audience insight. So using this tool here, it gives you the ability to find your audience and then create an ad. And I'm going to just go for a second here. I know that I don't want these to run really, really long, but I'm going to show you real quick kind of how I would go about setting up an ad like this. Okay. So I would create a new ad. And I would choose whichever um, marketing objectives that I had. But just for the sake of this quick tutorial here, I'm just going to call it engagement. I'm not going to name it or anything. I just want to show you where your targeting is and then what happens. Okay. So back to what we found out just a few minutes ago. I'm in Missoula, Montana. Okay, if I just go to Missoula, Montana with 18 to 65, that's the broad range. I've got a $20 budget right now that I could show you, but that's what it's set at. I'm going to get about 107 to 310 post engagements. <clears throat> now, that seems like a good number, but it's not targeted down. So 107 clicks from the wrong people, it doesn't do us any good. So I'm going to change my targeting now to what we found in the audience insight, 22 to 54. Trucks is going to be my interest. They like to be at Cabela's. And I wanted to just be men's audience. Now, if you look, <clears throat> what has happened is I was at 107 when I was really broad and, and it was going to show it to everybody. By targeting and narrowing it down, my reach has went down. I'm not going to be showing it to as many people. But these 91 to 264 people, these are going to be the right people if I'm trying to sell a truck. And then here's where you can put your connections in to where you can either people that are engaged with your page, um, if they're similar to those engaged with your page, <clears throat> which this can be kind of handy too, and it can change things. And sometimes it'll make this number better. You just have to watch the ad as you, as you do the ad. And see if it's you know if it's if your costs are too high or too low. Another thing I like to do is expand the detail targeting. And I click on that button to see what it does. It raises this number up just a little bit, and it's not going to change. Oh, my budget is only eleven dollars, so let's change it to twenty dollars. <throat> so that gives me hundred and sixty-four people that are gonna click on this ad for these trucks that I know are probably the right buyer. So the chances of me closing these people or selling these people is really, really high because I use my audience insights to narrow that audience down to exactly what I want. Okay guys, now that you learned how to set up the targeting for your Facebook ads, if you've never done it before, click on the video that I'm putting up right here and 
it will walk you through step-by-step step on how to exactly go about setting up your first ad so that you can use the targeting that you already know and be able to get leads, make sales, and make more money. And until next time, have a great day.